Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, we've got the G7P and then we have a FS CPD01 and a CPD02. So these are both the magnetic and the optical RPM sensors. So, what we're going to have to do is power up as receiver. And then you're going to connect the first one to the sense port. Let's see if I can get you that in focus. So, first one to the sense port on the actual receiver. Then it'll light up like that. And then if we go into our settings. So you can go into your sensors, then scroll all the way down, and you'll see we've got RPM showing. Now this one is the magnetic sensor, so I think round here somewhere I've got a couple of little magnets. And if I wave them past it, you can see it starts reading out the RPM. So I can confirm that the magnetic one does in fact work. Then if we get the uh, optical one and I plug that in and then somewhere around here I've got some reflective foil so if we bring that one into view and if I just wave it past you can see it starts picking up RPM So, what can you do with these? Well, unlike the MB4 and the Pro, where you can you can enter the rollout on them, you can't actually do anything on here other than set an alarm. So you can set an alarm for the low RPM. And you can set an alarm for high RPM. And you can adjust these to wherever you like. So they'll go up in 100 RPM steps. But other than that, there's not really much you can do. So yeah, it is compatible with the RPM sensors. But literally all you can read is RPM. There's no way to input the rollout or anything and have these show up as any kind of speed or anything. It will literally just read RPM and you can have an alarm for the low part and the high part or your high and low values but if you do need to measure rpm on the g7p they are both compatible and they both work fine but thanks again for watching wtfrc cars if you like this kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell share to friends and family and i'll catch you guys again in the next one